both on IMSA Radio and IMSA TV, wherever you are, around the US or around the world. An hour and 40 minutes, 100 minutes on the clock. Ollie Jarvis, the Englishman, for the third time in succession will lead the field to a green flag at Daytona. He's got the hammer down in the Mazda, only the one Mazda this year, and they've chosen the Alpine white colour rather than the Soul red, and that's a very nice start indeed. Looks like the Cadillac, the Ali Cadillac, coming up the inside, trying to make a position from row two. Now it's Tippy Toes not being the same conditions that they had in warm-up this morning, so really feeling their way. Everyone's gone on to the wet Michelin tyres. Rain has just about stopped, we're hearing, here at the International Horseshoe. And hello to everybody who's been tweeting us in at IMSA Radio. If you want to get in touch with us, we'll check back in with the Porsche keys to the race as the race develops. And down towards the West Hampton for the first time is the GT cars come through, led by the two BMWs. This is the biggest GT Le Mans field we'll see for the balance of the season. The endurance races, BMW are in, so they'll be here at Daytona and, of course, at Sebring. Uh, then back again for Watkins Glen in the six hours. Huge GT field with GT Le Mans leading them out and split starts are back Jeremy that'll please you that looked very good that was neat and tidy and that was a great idea given what we were talking about in our Porsche keys to the race about the performance differential between the front of the GT Le Mans all pro drivers and factory cars and the very much customer racing LMP3 field yeah, that's uh, certainly good to see. Uh, that was, I think that's a very sensible move by IMSA to do that, particularly, of course, in these conditions. Uh, we see this a battle for the lead here at GTLM, but also uh, the battle for the lead out front. It wasn't the Ali car, in actual fact. It was K-Mag, Kevin Magnussen, in the Chip Ganassi racing Cadillac that was challenging, I think, took the lead from Oliver Jarvis on the, in the Mazda on, that, on this opening lap. Yeah, the fantastic sights and sounds of race cars back on the high banks of Daytona and it's Corvette that have got to the front of the field just two drivers of course uh, taking part here of the potentially four or five drivers depending on which category uh, in the Rolex 24 in a week's time in six days time we'll have the green flag Pierre Fion the president of the ACO the Automobile Club de la West the Guardians of the world's greatest motor race, the Le Mans 24 hours. He'll be waving the green flag on Saturday afternoon here at Daytona. I wonder if... I just wonder if that is playing into some of the minds. International Horseshoe, again, problems. That is the number 51 car that has gone around the RWR Eurasia machine, and that's Sally Yolick in the leash here just missing his braking point, did well Jeremy to get off the grass as side by side on the banking we've got fantastic battling with down on the low side the 31 wheel and engineering car which was just a wee bit underweight and that's why that didn't start at the front of the field having a cracking battle Philippe in Nasa we know how good he is in the wet with Dave Cameron as they come into the bus stop and through Goes Nasser into fourth position. Yes, a good racing here in the early stages and uh, having started from the back, uh, a lot of the teams uh, suggested to me before this weekend that they really were going to push very hard in this qualifying race. They just don't want to risk any damage uh, prior to next weekend's big race, of course. But uh, having been put to the back of the grid after that uh, qualifying for qualifying race yesterday, uh, the uh, number 31 car, they, they are they are pushing pretty hard. Uh, I spoke to the race engineer Ian, what the, te the technical director there at Action Express Racing this morning, and he said, look, they're gonna, they're pushing hard. Their plan was to push hard all the way through this week. They want to just see what they got. They want to be fully prepared for next weekend. And they say by pushing hard, that's a 